what is going on re nation how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel so we're going to be talking about some more screenshots that have been released for wwe 2k19 i know you guys have been waiting for me to talk about this and i'm pretty much ready to talk about this and we're just going to be discussing these screenshots and just going into depth on uh what we see and what we like and just, just cool stuff like that if you haven't make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel let's get to 20,000 subscribers we're very close man we're almost at 18,000 so let's get into the screenshot so let me see which one we want to go to we can go we can go to this um uh, can go to this one so i don't really know these two well uh they're called the street profits i don't watch nxt too much but when i do watch nxt i do get a glimpse of a lot of the new stars but these two i didn't get a chance to actually view but let's look into their actual character models and just stuff like that now from from the website it seems like they don't the quality goes down when you zoom it in now this uh it looks pretty cool i mean i gotta see the entrance in person not person but like in the game but it looks pretty cool it like the models look models look good now the overalls well they can always be improved when you get the accelerator pack because a lot of you were upset about um the models i'm not models but the ratings of the models and how they were low or they were too high and i said something about Liv morgan and i said her ratings should be a little higher and somebody got mad we're well, not mad but just was like you you really think Liv morgan she should be like a 68 i'm like nah i don't think anybody deserved to be a 68 even though how you know no matter how much you don't like somebody's wrestling they not everybody deserves to be a 68 i would say like Liv should be at least a 75 like i said uh these two look like they could be like 75s or at least a little higher but you know only reason usually people have low ratings is uh low overall ratings is because of the, not their it's not their move set or how they fight it's pretty much how they're perceived on tv let's say roman reigns wasn't getting a push let's say roman reigns was put down and he became a jobber his rating well not jobber but he just became low on the cards but he's winning matches but he's not popular his rating would probably be like an 85 or 86 just because of the fact that he is not being pushed as top anymore now you guys are probably wondering for the same for braun Strowman, how why he's an 89 uh one reason could be that when they first made the game he wasn't on the top of the charts and his rating uh, was made there created at that time now you could always change it but that could be one of the reasons why uh, his rating is 89 and not like a 95 like a roman reigns it could be because he wasn't at the top of his game at the time they started the game which isn't really an excuse they could have really like went into depth and actually made his um scan again not scan but uh his rating uh upgraded it but you know people 2k probably didn't really care and they're getting backlash towards a lot of these ratings but they don't care at the end of the day they don't care now i look i'm looking at these shoes these these shoes they got on with the pretty fire you know I, i'm really i'm really liking i'm really digging the shoes like i really i really do dig the shoes um the the crowd looks amazing it seems like this doesn't look like the actual NXT. Is this the actual NXT arena? I thought this. This is like one of those NXT house shows arena. Um, it's pretty cool how how the arena is looking incredible this year. I'm really I'm really you know looking forward to actually playing NXT this year. Hopefully my character goes straight to NXT because uh, they're just gonna screw me over on the main roster. I'm, I'm pretty much like that now let's get into this next screenshot we didn't really get that many screenshots we only got like be like three uh this one this one actually you can see the graphics on here uh kiara saying i now i really love this character like her when i watched you know was it the may young classic oh my gosh it was a she was an amazing opponent and watching her nxt tega was lit as well um one thing that i want to say is that her moveset is going to be really cool especially her finisher when she flies off the top row with that elbow they put a they put a similar move 
on the game i believe it was part of the downloadable pack or the dlc or whatever like that you have to get the deluxe edition or if you got the like the full edition i think it was a john Cena edition whatever yesterday uh, last year there was this elbow drop it was similar to hers but it had a, like a different take on it but it was like really cool and her elbow drop she actually goes really high with the elbow she's not like you know weak with it and it's really cool to see that it's gonna be really cool to see that in the game and her model looks phenomenal it looks amazing uh the women models do look pretty much really good this year i gotta say so far the women's look good uh braun uh, in my opinion it looks amazing i right. hopefully i am proven wrong and she proven wrong and somebody else has a better model than braun Strowman. you know um I'm looking forward to see Shasha Banks model and I'm looking forward to seeing Bailey's because I feel like they need more improvement, more improvement. But Shasha Banks model was really good last year. But, you know, a lot of models do need improvement. You know, it doesn't really matter to me at a lot. But, you know, to some of my fans or fans of WWE, you know, models do need improvement for them. You know, models don't really matter to me as much, to be honest, because i've played with a shitty model of chris jericho for so long that i didn't care anymore like you know like those things right there don't bother me like i played with so many so many crappy models and at the end of the day you know it, it does not bother me uh at all so her rating is a 79 which i can understand i can understand but you know as you get the accelerator you can boost it up i would see her as i see her as an 81 I technically do the way the way she's been the way she's been moving and she just won the championship she should be at 81 like she's 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 really uh she's really amazing i wonder if all uh all these stars have the may young classic entrance or they're going with uh you know a different one you know we don't really know half of these people how their interest is gonna look it's gonna be either their interest is coming from wrestlemania uh or you know elimination chamber or may young or 205 you know it's, it's coming from a certain pay-per-view i don't think they would get it straight from a monday night raw you know but her model does look amazing now the last one we have is matt hardy yes so it doesn't they don't really show a good quality of a matt hardy uh screenshot like honestly look at this shit like you can't you really can't like I'm, I, you can't even zoom in on that I, that's sad but we're gonna just like literally just talk about it because if you notice it's the same it's the same model from last year uh but just a little bit of a texture upgrade uh which which i don't mind like i said i don't really care about how the models look it's about gameplay and interests and stuff like that but it look it looks really good i'm glad they have the jacket in this this year because i was tired of making it in community creations and shit like that uh they have his beard on point where he has the gray hair and i'm looking forward to seeing his entrance i really am 84 overall best for jeff hardy don't really uh don't have a problem with that you know jeff is around them 80s i'm one thing about jeff and i know this is off topic but uh his his gimmick it's like you watch tna and you watch the deleted gimmick and you're like this is the one some of the amazing stuff i've ever seen and so you like you keep going with it and you're like i love this i love this but when he brought it to wb it, it didn't it didn't it's really not it's looking like a joke it's looking like a joke and i think it's wb's fault because wb should have let him really do what he wants with this gimmick like he did in TNA. And the most he's done that was similar to what he did in TNA was the compact. Was it the uh the the little feud he had with Bray at his house? Um and that's majority everything that I know that that they've let him do with part of this gimmick. Like it's gotten to the point where he's on Instagram and the gimmick just doesn't even look it just looks like a joke. It I'm sorry. Like if I was to talk to Matt Hardy, I would literally just be like, hey, man, like the gimmick you were using, like what's going on with that? Like what happened to the TNA? How what happened to the TNA uh, delete? Like it was different. And I know it was because it was in TNA, but 
Dudley should have took account and realized like we need to go back to the the way he was in TNA with this deleted gimmick and go with that because the way they have it now it, it makes it look pretty much ridiculous especially with Jeff like Jeff's is doing a little bit of it but he's not doing too much of it I feel like if he was going to come back with the face paint he should have did it with the brother Nero gimmick not just the regular Jeff Hardy gimmick because at the moment they all they both have multiple gimmick, different gimmicks and they should have worked around that but I don't know that'd be weird like when I see the deleted gimmick I'm like oh it's cool and stuff like seeing it and live it's, it's cool but it's like I need to see more I need to see that actual that actual one from TNA because the TNA one like that's one of the reasons why I don't watch TNA much but when that deleted gimmick started happening like I watched TNA like I was like I was intrigued by what Matt was doing. Like I was like this is this is pretty cool. And the feud he had with his brother, like, and then like Jeff, you know, had the Willow gimmick. Like it, it, that was interesting to me. Like they made TNA interesting at that time. Them and Bobby, you know, they all made TNA interesting with their gimmicks. And now it's like dang, you know, like that would be kind of like made it a kid friendly deleted gimmick. Like you know, it's ridiculous, but. Overall, Matt looks amazing. Matt looks amazing. I kind of do. One thing I do hate is when they have these logos up here. You can see the 2K logo. That bothers me. Uh, but I understand you got to promote your brand. But I don't know. That's weird to me that, you know, that they do that. It's so weird. But, uh, you know, that'd be 2K. I've stepped up their game with models. Oh, I don't, I don't have, I really didn't have a problem with any model this year. Now, a lot of people having problem with Adam Cole's model, which you know, at the same time, I, you know, I think it's fine. But you know, people, you know, have their, they, they, they really look into detail with these models. Like they really look into details. Um, now, all these models, even though they look great, doesn't mean like it's a certain angle they do with the screenshots. They, you know. We, it's pretty much how you gotta you, when you play them is how they're gonna look then but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel let's get to 20,000 subscribers we're very close and i will see you guys in the next video I post renation around this baby one love one love peace and i'll catch you guys later stay subscribed i'm out and stay blessed